Hello guys, megagov 1702 here again and this is a response video to a question I got in my thread over here. Um, he's asking about what, what I mean when I say we have to turn shit down in order to make other stuff shine through or make it louder, okay? And I'm gonna show it to you. Alright? In Battlefield 2 conflicts look like this. Blah blah sound this sound punk wave okay and you have a volume assigned to it okay J just this is a very rough example very very rough but this is how it works basically you have a sign a sound assigned and the sound has a volume val uh, volume excuse me so we have two volumes now right we have the volume within the sample itself over here that's that's the room between this middle line over here and the top and we have the volume assigned over here, so watch what is what. Now this volume assigned over here is independent of the sample volume. So you could have the sample fucking breaking your boxes when you listen through it uh, to it on the uh, media player, but in the game if you set the volume to 0.1, that's 10%. That's gonna be really quiet. If you set it to 0.1001, uh, you will barely be able to hear it, okay? so. In Battlefield 2 we have the possibility to arrange the, the volume as we like. Okay, we can have we can say okay we're gonna have weapons in this volume, we're gonna have engines in this volume, we're gonna have cannons in this volume. So what I mean is, okay, let's let's take let's take a look at this little uh, project I made. Okay, we have a warrior engine. Now let me let me reduce the volume over here to minus six. Okay, warrior engine from the great, great PR recordings of the British uh, vehicles. We have uh, the 30mm cannon of the Warrior. And we have the weapon sound that you guys already know. Now, how do we make the player understand, sorry for the burp, I'm drinking beer. How do we make the player understand that this is an engine this is a big fucking cannon, but this rifle is sitting right next to his ear. Well, in my opinion, we should do it like this. In in this little uh, setting, the engine should have the lowest volume of, let's say, 0.5. The, ca the weapon right next to the player's ear should have a volume of 0.7. Uh, and the big cannons should have a volume of full. One, because in my little example over here, they are the loudest thing that you can actually hear. Okay? I mean, just, um, I'm gonna show you something. Another YouTube video from freaking Zofat. This is from the great PR recordings. Listen to how brutal and loud the weapons are compared to the engine. It's unbelievable. Listen how quiet the engines are. And now listen, listen to the cannon.
I mean, this is just simple thing, but you can clearly hear how the 30 millimeter cannon is way louder than the machine gun and way louder than um, the engine. Now, in video games, we have the limitation that without high dynamic range audio like in Battlefield 3 or Bad Company 2 or anything like that, in real life, you have a, you can hear from, let's say, 0 decibels to like 150 decibels and that's a huge range okay if you want to know about it google it google how much 120 decibels is it's going to break your ears apart in video games we work with a much much lower range if we would try to represent the full range of audio we would have everything we would have um reloads walking steps knives which are not audible you cannot hear them because they're so quiet this is why we push all this stuff a little bit higher to the higher third of the whole audio experience in order to make people understand that what they're doing okay this is a limitation no way in in the video game you're gonna you're gonna have it sound like in real life without high dynamic audio which turns down your footsteps and everything while the 30 millimeter cannon is shooting so anyway what we can do is this let's say as an example we have the engines and well, let's let's say we have the engines like they are right now, okay? Take a listen. Okay. You can hear that there's no definition. There's nothing there. I mean, the freaking cannon sounds just as loud as the engine and the gunshots and in the end, look at this fucking ugly shit. In the end you have a big old mess. Look at this upstairs over here. It's just it's just ugly. You know, it's everything is just completely loud and over the top. You can hear that the frequencies are killing each other. You know, over here you see this shit, shit is getting cut off. It's all, you know, straight, so it means it, it's cut off. It cannot be any louder. So, what is the solution to that? Solution to that is um that we say, okay, we're gonna make the engines at let's say uh, one point. Just, just this is an over-exaggerated example. Okay, this is not how I like it to be in PR. We're gonna have the engines at eighty percent, uh, fifty percent. I'm sorry, the weapons at seventy percent, and the cannons at ninety percent. Okay, so I have this little calculator over here. It's gonna help me calculate the values. Engines at fifty percent, so that's minus three point one decibel. Where are the engines? Over here. We have the weapons at 70%, minus 1.55. This is the uh, rifles over here. And the cannon at 100%, okay? Let's let's take a look at uh, uh, what it sounds like. Okay, that's not too impressive. That's not too impressive at all, but in my opinion, it sounds already better or more defined than the other version. Let's let's render that and see what happens. It already looks much much cleaner over here. You have the clear definitions. You have the gunshots and everything standing above the audio of the web uh, of the engine. We probably could down engine could could turn down the engine a little bit more, but let's just let's just take a listen here. Okay, just for um, for reasons of just showing off, in the, for this example, let's put the engines down to thirty percent. Oh, that's a bit too rough, I think. Let's make it forty. It's minus four decibels. Let's make the weapon sounds fifty um, percent. Minus three decibels, and the cannon sound. Let me make it eighty percent. Let's just see what happens there. Minus zero point nine seven. Minus zero point nine seven. Let's take a listen to this. Okay. 
Okay, that's much more defined. Run the stereo. Listen how, how in the sample over here above us, you cannot really hear any difference between the like volumes, but in the lower one you can. It's not perfect, it's not nice at all, but I just wanted to show you guys what I mean by this, okay? And think about this, the weapon shooting over here is right next to the soldier's ear, okay? In Battlefield 2 we have two sound files for shooting uh, shooting a weapon. We have the um, the sound that the soldier hears when he actually shoots a weapon, like you know, first person, and we have a sound that represents other people hearing it, so that's third person. That's first person. That's third person. So what you can always do is you can pull. You, you can you want you always want to have the first person sound nice and brutal because that's right next to the player's ear. But you want to have the third person a bit quieter so it feels like okay, this sound is actually not as loud as the APC cannon. It allow it it requires a shit ton of work balancing and you're gonna have a, a bit more than I do right now. Just putting a lot of sounds into your mixer and finding out the values and whatnot in order to make it all balanced but it's work that it, it's possible that can be done in my opinion um, and this is it this is what I mean by saying you have to turn shit down in order to hear other stuff